gently cross your legs. You can shift your weight side to side a little bit, just finding that perfect alignment for your sitting bones, alignment for the spine. And today let's come into the energy mudra. You're going to bring your middle finger and your thumb tip to touch. And then add your ring finger. So your middle and ring are touching your thumb on both hands. This is also called the apana mudra. Your pointer and your pinky can just relax. They don't have to be straight. But allow your spine to straighten and let your eyelids close. And invite your breath to drop down into your belly. Maybe your sitting bones relax a little bit more. And let all the muscles on the face soften. Open your ears to deep listening, not just to me, but to this moment, how it feels. You're heightening your awareness. Notice any little sounds that might be happening in your environment. the sound of your breath. Maybe the sound of silence underneath or in between. Take a couple breaths that are a little bit deeper, a little bit slower. Notice the aliveness of your body. On your next inhale, reach the arms out and up. You can release the mudra. Opening your fingers, let your palms touch over your head. And then bring this Anjali Mudra to your heart. Lift your heart and bow the chin. And drop down into this feeling heart. And notice if there's anything you'd like to shed or let go of today, or anything you'd like to cultivate. and seal those intentions, whatever came up, by placing one hand over the heart, one hand over the belly. And let's come lying down onto the back. You can have your knees bent, feet are hip width or a little bit wider apart, your knees can fall together. Let your hands rest on your belly. Shoulders tucked down a little bit, giving the neck space. We'll take a few cleansing breaths here. Let's inhale through the nose, filling up to the tippy top of your breath. Let your belly and your lungs stretch. And then exhale out through the mouth like you're fogging up a window. Feel the bottom of your breath. Inhale, filling up. 
Hover at the top, float. Exhale through the mouth. Feel the bottom. Inhale, filling. Float. Exhale. Float at the bottom. Take two more on your own. Just hovering at the top and the bottom of the breath. Feeling this fullness and clean slate emptiness of the body. Let your lips seal. Let your breath wash in and out through the nose. Let your arms release by your sides with the palms facing them. And let your legs relax out. Notice a balance between a sense of surrender and also a sense of aliveness. Contract the back of your throat slightly so that your breath sounds like the ocean as it washes in an ujjayi, victory breath. And draw your right knee into your chest. Hug it in, sending your breath into the right side of your belly. Maybe the right side of the back. And you get to decide the speed and the quality of your breath. Slowly roll out your right ankle. And hold your right knee with your left hand, drawing it across your body into a twist. Right arm reaches away. Let your right shoulder drop down. Let your knee relax towards the ground. And allow your head to roll to the right. Your right ear starts to come a little closer to the floor. Bend your breath into the right side of the body that's twisting. On an inhale, hug this right knee back in. Hold it with your right hand, open it out to the right. You can rest your left hand on your left hand. You can ground down through your left leg. Now draw your right knee back to center and catch your right ankle with your left knee coming into resting pigeon. You can hold the foot with your left hand, hold the knee with your right, drawing it in, or you can capture your left leg. As you breathe, notice if you can send your breath down into the right hip. And 
Relax the jaw. Start to draw your nose towards your foot, hugging yourself in. Lengthen your spine as you lower the head back down. Let your left foot come down to the ground. Let your arms open into a T and rock this posture with your legs side to side. It's time that your left leg starts to drop to the left. Pause there. Hug both knees in. Rock it up. Grab the outside edges of your feet, coming into happy baby. Hug your right knee back in. Let your left leg hover over the ground, flex your feet. Tuck your chin. Draw your belly button down towards the ground. Inhale with me. Exhale, hug your left knee in, right leg hovers. Inhale, right knee hugs in. Exhale, your left knee hugs in. And you're stretching, you're drawing one knee in as you reach the other leg away. The next time you have your left knee in, pause there. And relax your right leg down to the ground. Relax your head. Breathe into the left side of your belly, left side of your back. Relax the feet. Maybe slowly roll out your left ankle. Shoulders drop. Hold this left knee with your right hand. Draw it across the body into a twist. Left arm relaxes away. Let your left shoulder drop. Your knee relaxes towards the ground. Left ear might get a little closer to the floor. How much can you fill up and find beautiful spaciousness in this left side? And how much can you soften on the exhale, surrendering? Are there little moments of pause in between? Slowly unwind, hold the knee with your left hand, let it open out to the left side. Your right hand can rest on your right hand.
Draw your left knee back to center. Capture your left ankle with your right knee. Keep this left foot flexed, but your right foot can relax. You can hold on to the foot and the knee as you draw it in, or you can hold on to your right leg. Find what feels comfortable, but also feels a little bit of the stretch, and then breathe into it. Send your breath into the left hip or anywhere that's feelings. If you'd like to, you can lift the head, drawing your nose and ankle foot towards each other. Try to keep this length in your spine as you lower the head back down. One more breath. Let your right foot touch down on the floor, arms open into a T, and rock this posture side to side. And the next time your right leg falls to the right, pause there for a moment in the twist. Unwind, draw both knees into the chest, rocking them around. Come into your happy baby again. And your happy baby might just be that you hold each shin individually and you let the legs open wide. Or you can hold on to those outside edges of the feet. Let the soles of the feet face the ceiling. This is a really dip, deep, dip, deep hip opener. So breathe into both hips at the same time if you can. Start to glide your hands down the legs to the backs of your thighs and open your feet wide. Roll out those ankles. One more breath, stretching wide. On an inhale, draw your legs together, bend the knees, and let your feet come down. Inch your feet a little bit wider than the sitting bones, and then let your hands come down, and your fingertips are trying to find your heels. They might not find them, but you're gliding your shoulder blades down as you reach for the heels of your feet. Spread your toes, your feet are parallel. Press into your feet, lifting your hips up towards the sky. Inch your shoulder blades towards each other, maybe your hands interlace. Press your arms down into the ground as you press into all four corners of each foot. Breathe into your low belly. 
Notice this space that's just below your belly button, this home of personal power, fire element. Let's take one more breath in bridge pose. And slowly lower your hips back down. Let your knees fall in towards each other and feel the echo. Let's come into restorative bridge. So you're welcome to use a block or you can use your bolster. If you wanna use your bolster, you're gonna place your bolster underneath your hips, your low back and your glutes. And if you wanna use the block, which um, is a little bit more, um, it might bring you a little bit higher. I like to use the second setting of the block. So lowest, middle, second setting, and highest. You can lift the hips and just place that block right underneath your sacrum. So that flat area of your back where your buttocks, your glutes meet your back. Just make sure it's comfortable. Find a position where you're for your feet where your legs can relax. And maybe let the arms come a little bit out to the sides. Take one slow, conscious breath. Invite yourself to fully arrive in this posture and make any adjustments that you might need in order to be fully comfortable. And let your breath surrender. Let it be effortless now. You might notice sensations from the posture circulating. You get to stay still and relax as time helps to open the body in a very specific way. See if you can soften a tiny bit more on each exhale. Allow yourself to open energetically to receiving.
slower. And you're starting to access deep muscle tissue. Let's stay for one more minute. Exhale out through the mouth. To release the prop out from under us. Press into the feet, lift the hips. Release. You can pause in stillness, or you can take a little bit of movement, maybe let the knees windshield wiper side to side. Fold to one side, pressing up to see. Bring a block with you. Take a, a short forward fold with the feet together, but have quite a bit of space, like a diamond in between the knees. You can have the soles of your feet touching and we'll be folding like this. Or if you want to get a little deeper into the hips, if you're looking for a little bit more today, then you can place a block in between the feet. So it actually, you know, widens the hips a little bit more. Either way, let's hold on to the ankles or shins. Inhale, lengthen up. Let your shoulders glide down the back. And before we fold, take a couple circles with the head and neck. Other one. To center, inhale, look up. Exhale, lead with your heart. Bend your elbows as your heart reaches forward. Helping to keep a flat back. Your elbows can bend out to the sides or they can tuck in. And then when you can keep a flat back no longer, then you can start to reach your head forward and fold. Find that spot for your elbows where your shoulders are gliding down the back, your neck has space. 
Breathe into the hips. You're always welcome to try to set up a block underneath your forehead or just let your forehead hang. Try to relax the hip sockets. And slow your breath down. Couple breaths here. See if you can let go to go a little bit deeper. All right, your next inhale. Let's take one more like this. Open your legs out wide into a V. Take your bolster. You might want to have your blanket too. And you're going to bring the short edge of your bolster up to your groin. And then set your blocks up so that you have one block underneath the middle area of your bolster at the second height, and then your other block near the top at the tall height. And this is just gonna help you be able to fold forward with wide legs. Okay, so I'm gonna use the blanket because I can't fold super, super low. So I want a lot of support and I want to be able to just hang out here for a little bit. And you can let your head fall to one side, let your feet relax so your, your toes don't have to be trying to point up. You can let them go. And see if you can surrender, even let your breath go again. Stay here. As you rest here, your fascia is opening. You also might notice moments of spaciousness or a pause in the mind. You can really allow the mind to get spacious. Invite those moments of nothingness. to have a mantra going in the mind. I tend to like, I am opening, or I am open to receiving.
of your head resting to one side, you can turn it to the other side. Take a deep inhale. Let it go. Move slowly. Bring your hands under your shoulders. Awesome. Release your bolster behind you towards the back of your mat. You can take your hands under your knees and just help them to release. We'll come into Supta Baddha Konasana. Have your blocks available on either side of your knees, soles of the feet touching. I like to tilt my blocks so that they're against the outer legs. And then the short edge of the bolster is touching your sacrum. You're welcome to have a, a pillow for your head or just let your head relax on the bolster. And go ahead and lay down. Arms release out by the sides, or your hands can rest on your belly. If your legs aren't comfortable in butterfly, you can always let them relax out long and stone. Okay. 
we'll stay here for a few minutes. I'll play some music for you as you rest. All the muscles in the face relax, jaw softens. Allow that spaciousness in the mind.
Take a deep inhale and let it go. And let your legs release out long. Maybe rock your head side to side a couple times against the bolster. And when you're ready, you can roll to one side, gently pressing. Let's come into our final posture, some form of shavasana. So you're welcome to lay flat on your back on the ground. You can cover yourself with a blanket. Or if you want a little bit of support for your low back, you can place the bolster underneath your thighs and knees. If you want more of a flying, floating shavasana, you can elevate the calves and ankles. And you can also, you know, put legs off the wall or put your legs in the couch. But today I'll be on the floor. Make sure that your legs are separated from each other and you have some space. Up your shoulders down and let your arms have a little bit of space away from your sides, palms facing up. It is said that when we come into this pose and we absorb everything that we've done, the sweet rain, the omelet rain of our practice falls upon us. And that water will pool in the palms of the hands. Allow the blessings of everything that you've done to rain upon you. And we'll rest here for several minutes. I'll wake you when the time is right.
Invite your breath to deepen. Rub the tips of the fingers against the thumb. And wiggle the toes. Stretch your arms up over the head, getting long. And draw your knees into your chest. And roll onto your right side. Fetal position. Your head be heavy as you press up to see. Bringing your palms together at heart center, lifting the heart, bowing the chin. Notice what you may have let go of, what you may have cultivated. And simply honor that. And honor your willingness to dive inward, to go slow. Sometimes going slow is much harder than moving fast. The light within me bows to the light within me. Namaste.